So I've just upgraded my microphone to this, the VMic D3 Pro. And that's what you're listening to right now. And I bought this to replace my current Rode mic. So we're going to do an unboxing and a comparison to see whether it was worth the investment. So let's check it out. So I recently upgraded my camera and now I'm upgrading my mic. This is the V mic D3 Pro from Deity. I have a lovelier mic from Deity. It's really good. I really, really like it. But my current mic, which plugs directly into my Canon M50, is a Rode mic. Now, normally I have it down here where my sort of hand is hidden out of camera. I've just bought some little adapters. So now I've got it on like a boom, but you can just see it here. Just move that out, but it's, it's here basically. This is where I'm gonna be putting this mic. Listen carefully because this is the sound that's gonna be replaced and we'll do a comparison later, but just so you know. So this is the Deity VMic D3 Pro uh, and we'll do an unboxing and everything. Super cardioid polar pattern, low noise circuitry design with a noise level at uh, 15 decibels, eh? High quality SNR, durable rugged metal construction, internal rechargeable lithium battery, supplying over 50 hours of operation. Um, and I believe it's rechargeable as well. You just stick a USB-C or a USB cable in the back and you can recharge it. Out of the box compatibility with cameras, recorders and smartphones and laptops. It's a 3.5 mil jack. If your camera has an external mic facility, should be absolutely fine for that. And it has a stepless gain knob so it's basically got gain built in to the microphone. You just twist the gain and that's why I really want it because you can really control the gain. Plus uh, it's got a easy button on the side for a two-step high pass filter, 75 hertz and 150 hertz. Really useful if you want to cut out some of the wind and stuff like that, some of those sort of wind sounds. Probably less uh, crucial for me, but the buttons on the side. Uh, so if you know anything about uh, equalization, it basically takes out 75 hertz um, on that kind of bottom run instantly, built into the mic. So you don't have to do anything in the software or anything like that. And that's why this mic is uh, so popular with YouTubers and stuff like that, because not only is it a decent price, uh, but it has all these extra facilities. And bear in mind, this is the pro version. That's the one you've got to be looking at. So uh, I'll quickly do an unboxing. So you'll see. Just, um, that's it. The packaging's nothing to write home about. So here's your uh, cable for recharging. It's a USB-C, so a USB-C cable for recharging. The lithium battery in it. Here's the mic itself, uh, and on its shoe, you can, so when you're resting on top of the camera, you can bring it forward or bring it back on this kind of useful little shoe here. You can take this off. Some people say this affects the sound quite significantly, really. It's just sort of pop filter, I guess, your wind filter and stuff. Uh, but there we are, it, you can see here, it's got a nice metal, it's metal. This is this is not sort of some plastic stuff. It's got a kind of, it's a solid, it feels a solid build. And um, sort of a bit of weight to it and stuff like that. And then here you've got your high pass filter, 75 and 150 Hertz high pass filter. And then this gain knob on the back. That's what kind of gives it its pro element. Yeah, so you can change the gain on the fly, as it were, just to get it get it right. Okay, so you get that. And then here's the, the cable. To be honest, that looks a bit short. It's perfect if it's just sitting on top of the camera. But as I said, my mic is about a foot away from the camera. So you might want to get an extended um, cable. Could have thought that through, maybe, or given the options. But uh, it's a pretty standard uh, cable. I'll confirm what type it is. Um, it's got the three lines on it. 
I know they've got like TRRS, stuff like that. I'll confirm which it is later and I'll put it on the screen. Uh, but there you go. That's it. That's what's in the box. So I guess we should just do like a test. We just sort of set it up and do a test. Okay, so just as a reminder, this is what my current mic sounds like. Uh, I have it so that I'm peaking at about 12. Well, actually, yeah, so it's it's set. I'll put the settings that I have it in the Canon. I'm not gonna change the settings on the Canon. I'm gonna change the settings in the gain, hopefully. But I sort of peak at sort of 12, maybe a, a little more than that, sort of 12 decibels, maybe 10 decibels. Uh, that's where I'm sort of peaking at. If I'm getting excited, then it's probably closer to, you know, 11 or 10, but I tend to peak around 12 decibels according to the sound recording levels on the Canon there. So this is what this, this is what my Rode mic sounds like. So now we're going to swap to the new Deity mic. So now I've changed the mic around and you just about see it here. Yeah, so it's above me there. So just give you an idea, that's probably just slightly less than a foot away, uh, 30 centimetres, 25 centimetres away probably uh, from my mouth, just to give you an idea. I've not changed the gain input setting on the Canon M50, but I have set the knob, the gain control knob, to two. Uh, and I'm peaking about... Uh, 10 I would say uh, maybe a little bit higher maybe higher maybe six or seven so uh, it's already very powerful I might have to take it down when I hear this it might be too loud I don't know uh, but then again it could just be perfect um, so all I know is I've got it at two in the end I used the Rode Mike's lead because I, that I had for my Rode Mike because it's a nice long lead uh, this was I was stretching this one a bit hopefully it doesn't make any difference uh, the microphone provides its own power thanks to the camera and the lithium battery so we're all good so what do you think this as i say this is what it sounds like and i've not changed the input into the canon md compared to the other one we'll go back and use the same footage but we'll go back to my old mic so you can compare the sound okay so just as a reminder this is what my current mic sounds like uh, i have it so that i'm peaking at about 12 well, actually yeah so it's it's set to i'll put the settings that i have it in the canon i'm not going to change the settings on the canon i'm going to change the settings in the gain hopefully but i sort of peak at sort of 12 maybe a, a little more than that sort of 12 decibels maybe 10 decibels uh, that's where i'm sort of peaking at if i'm getting excited then it's probably closer to you know 11 or 10 but I tend to peak around 12 decibels according to my uh, according to the sound recording levels on the Canon there. And then back to me here with it set at two. Uh, if I, I'm just going to take it down to one. OK, so this is I've just turned it down to one and now I'm just peaking above the 12, maybe 11 or something like that. I think I probably preferred it on the other one. I mean, it's such a subtle difference. I mean, I can take the knob really high and then you'll see it goes really loud like that. The gain control, it goes, look, I'm peaking and red now. So that'll be horrible. Sorry, horrible sound. All right, so that is uh, back to the two. So hopefully that's all right. And then it's got, if I, this is with the low filter pass at 75 Hertz. So I've just clicked the low filter pass to 75 hertz this is what it sounds like i should read something uh, shouldn't i i saw a worm wiggling on its belly and i asked it inside whether it wanted to watch some telly there we go poetry for you ladies and gentlemen anyway that's 75 hertz and now it's set to the 150 hertz filter the 150 hertz filter to give you an idea i when i saw a worm wiggling on its belly i went outside and asked it whether it wants to come inside and watch some telly um, there we go. That is the low filter pass set at 150 hertz to give you an idea. And then this is with it off. Probably inside, you probably want it off. I think the real benefit is um, probably outside. Talking about it's outside, I've taken off the sleeve. So let's put the sleeve on. As you can see there now. 
Okay, so now this is what it sounds like with the sleeve. Again, it's set at two on the gain knob. Obviously, I'd probably have it, you know, an inch or so out of place. I just want you to see where I position the microphone. So there you go. Let me know what you think. As I say, new camera, new microphone. Hopefully, it's going to make me sound even better. Um, but let me know down in the comments below what you think. I'll mostly be using it for doing, you know, reviews and blogs like this with it just set here. As I said, probably, there we are, just out of sight there um, to give you an idea. Anyway, hopefully it sounds okay. So there you go. I hope you found that interesting. I hope you found it useful. If you did, then please hit the likes because I like it, YouTube likes it, and it helps people like you find content like this. And if you are new here, then do me the great honor, Aragata Gazimus, of hitting that subscribe button toggling that notification bell, and that way you'll know when I go live with content like this. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you around soon. Oh yeah, check out the reviews um, over here. These videos here, they're pretty good. Check them out, I'd appreciate it. Thank you.